guys, John here at LearningGuitarNow.com. And in this lesson, I want to show you how to play a Kenny Wayne Shepherd inspired uh, Deja Voodoo style solo. For this lesson, I'm using E flat tuning and uh, the gear I'm using to get the, uh, the tone for the solo uh, is a 66 Super Reverb. Uh, I'm using a tube screamer with it and then a uh, Deja Vibe, a full tone of Vibe pedals. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first few licks for free. And if you would like to gain access to the uh, interactive tab, the full lesson and the backing track, uh, check out the all access pass. Okay, let's go ahead and, and uh, get started with the lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break the solo down for you into eight separate licks. Uh, we're in the key of E flat. I'm using E flat tuning. Uh, it's every string tuned down half a step. Uh, Kitty Wayne Shepherd uh, pretty often uh, tunes down to E flat. Uh, the chord progression that I'm playing over is B, E flat minor to A7. And so that's just gonna repeat over and over again. So you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. It's just that over and over again. E minor, E minor seven, A7. Uh, that groove is what we're playing over. Okay, so uh, lick one sounds like this. Okay, so for lick number one, uh, we're starting off the solo here. Uh, it's kind of a laid back vibe. And uh, I'm coming in right before the band uh, starts on the third count. I'm just doing this roll down here, going up, uh, kind of an upstroke, and then a down to strike the, just rolling down, up, and then down with the pick and rolling my second finger, or whatever finger you want to use. Uh, down uh, the fretboard here. You hear Kenny Rain Shepherd, Steve Ray Vaughan, I mean, numerous guitar players, rock, blues, uh, doing that kind of slide down thing there. Okay, so we're doing that. When the band comes in, I'm gonna do this another rake. Kenny Wayne Shepherd does a lot of rakes in between all his notes. So getting his style down, uh, it's imperative that you get a uh, better grasp on how to rake different notes. So for more about raking, uh, check out my blues guitar method. So I'm gonna roll down and then I'm gonna slide in from the third to the fifth fret on the B string and I'm doing an up and then a down. Rake. Like that to get a lot of attack to that note. Sliding into that E note right here, B string. Keep in mind, you know, I'm in uh, E-flat tuning, but I'm gonna refer to everything as, you know, if it would be in standard tuning instead of going flat for every note. Because it seems like I'm playing in, uh, the, you know, E like this, because I'm in E-flat tuning. So anyway, uh, sliding into the third to the fifth fret on the B string. Heavy vibrato. It's more of this kind of a Clapton style vibrato. I hear uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd doing this type of vibrato a lot instead of the wrist shake. But, you know, he does a lot of different types of vibrato. So he does, you know, this type sometimes and, and then other types of vibratos at other times. Uh, he's just got a fantastic vibrato. So for me, I'm doing this right here. Kind of like Clapton style vibrato. And then I'm doing this phrase. So we're in the second position minor pentatonic scale right here. Then we're going back to that open position first. Uh, position minor pentatonic scale, and then sliding into that blues uh, note here, that third fret here on the uh, G string. I'm just sliding it, and then releasing that fast uh, phrase there. So starting off uh, plucking it with my second finger, the high E. You hear Stevie Ray Vaughan, Kenny Wayne Shepherd doing that a lot. So that's a great uh, exercise to do if you're not really good at doing this. Slowly. It's all one move right here. 
So that's a great uh, exercise to play if you're not really good at doing that type of move. Okay, so the next step on the uh, this same bar, on um, after the third count, the three and, I'm gonna do this, another up, down, rake thing. And let everything ring out. So I'm sliding from two to four on the G string. Let it ring out, putting my first finger on the third finger, putting my first finger on the third fret of the a B string. So you have that cool little blues, you know. That. You hear that all the time in blues playing. Uh, so the next step after this is I'm gonna rake, but go up the strings like this. And just slide from four to two on the G string. Uh, another common move uh, here, Steve Ray Vaughn, Kenny Wayne Shepherd doing a lot. So one, two, three, four. But fifth time, let it ring out. And then I'm going to do this open G. And then a trill on the uh, open string to the second fret here. So there's a lot going on in just that one little phrase. You got the slide down. Rakes, popping the finger, that little phrase. Up, down, rake again. Up, stroke, uh, rake. You know, starting up like this. Trill. And then I'm gonna do another slide down after that. So all those little nuances, that's what makes, to me, uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd sound so great. Uh, it's also, same thing that you hear Stevie Ray Vaughan doing a lot of times. Of course, Kenny Wayne Shepherd sounds a lot like Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, but a, a lot of stuff going on here uh, that just gives your playing uh, a lot more of a vibe. Okay, so that is it for lick one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so lick two. Um, not that many notes involved, but once again, there's a lot of nuances to, uh, to keep in mind and see if you can get down. So I'm doing that up, down, rake again. You just get a lot of attack when you do this type of a thing, up, and then strike it going down, doing that big Clapton style vibrato on the B string. Letting it vibrato. And then on the next bar, uh, on the three and, I'm gonna do this. Another rake up, down. Strike it once on the 17th fret of the B string. And then I'm gonna do it again. Another rake to strike it down. So it's kinda hard for me to do it slowly. Uh, try the lick one more time, we got this. That little part right there, you gotta do fast. And then we're gonna do another rake. And then release to that 15th fret of the B string and slide back. Like I said, the notes aren't very hard, it's just getting all the rakes and the dynamics of the lick. So we have to slide in. You just gotta spend some time with just getting inside that lick to make it sound really good. Uh, you got the vibrato, the up and down rakes. And then try to strike everything with a lot of intensity, but I'm not really letting the, the notes sustain a long time. So it's a very kind of laid back lick, but with a lot of intensity. So it can kind of be a little bit difficult to get the vibe of the intensity, but also keeping a laid back sound. Because we're playing this over the laid back part. And it's key to getting that release from 17 to 15 and slide down. Okay, so that's it for lick two. Okay, well that does it for this lesson. Uh, like I mentioned previously, if you would like to gain access to the full lesson, the interactive tab and the backing track, uh, please check out the All Access Pass. You'll also gain access to all the courses on the site, 
Uh, it's around 70 right now, and all the single podcast lessons were up to 92 at this point in 2022 of March. And there's the quick tips, uh, look of the month lessons, and uh, community forum. So there's a lot of content in the all access pass, around 200 hours of material, uh, I believe, at this time of recording. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.